So now in this video we come back to the fading LED circuit of the last video. We modified it quite a bit though. And uh, biggest change though, now we got a 555 timer providing the high, low uh, pulses instead of me moving a jumper back and forth. And uh, there you can see when uh, the 555 voltage changes we get a ramp right there and the LED uh, fades. We're measuring the voltage of the LM358 op amp output and the 555 timer output. So the uh, N LM358 op amp here is being wired as an inverting integrator and we will look at that. So we got uh, 12 volts there. This capacitor I didn't add to the schematic when we look at it but you're going to see with the next voltage change we got all that uh, craziness. We had a, a sudden rush of current we needed for whatever reason and uh, the power supply couldn't uh, do a quick uh, current change. It was just providing the current normally was took time to adjust. And so we saw that noise, this capacitor uh, took care of that. Now, uh, we got 12 volts, so it's going off the screen. 12 volts on the uh, power supply. So I'm going to drop it down to uh, 8 volts. And you're going to see that the outputs don't even go all the way to 8 volts. That's one thing to remember. So there's the 555 going to 7 and then 0. And there's the ramp going up to, it looks like, 6. We get a little bit more without the LED, but not much, as we saw in the last video. So when the uh, 555 goes high, the ramp goes low. When the 555 goes, the ramp goes high. It's going in the opposite direction, but it is a ramp for as long as the components can provide power. So now for the 555 timer, I have a 47 microfarad capacitor there, and it charges through two uh, resistors, but uh, 100,000 ohms is the bulk of the resistance there when it's charging. That's uh, the main uh, resistance. And then when it discharges, it discharges through the 100,000 ohm resistor as well. We are going to work with 12 volts, so I put a minimum of 2,200 ohms for when uh, pin 7 is connected to ground because we got that current flow to deal with uh, too right there. That might be what was throwing off the power supply with the uh, power surges, and so I added this capacitor to uh, provide the current needed for that sudden change before the power supply is ready to change the current it's providing. So now between the 555 timer output and the inverting input of our op amp, we have a 1 million ohm resistor because we don't need uh, much current charging and discharging about a half of a microfarad uh, capacitor. And ultimately, we are trying to keep the same voltage at the inverting input that is at the non-inverting input. So we set that to uh, 6 volts if you have a 12 volt supply, but half the supply voltage. So as the output changes high and low of the 555 time, you get the opposite output change of the op amp to try to keep the same voltage at the inverting input as the non-inverting input. And now we get a closer look at the circuit, the output of the 555 going to the inverting input of the op amp. We got the capacitor, which uh, that current and the uh, current from the output is charging and discharging the capacitor as needed. Also with that uh, voltage from the output, we can light an LED. The uh, voltage that it's uh, looking at in relation to is at the non-inverting input right here. We got uh, one 10K resistor and another 10K resistor going to the positive and negative supply. So we get half of the supply voltage, which uh, the output is going to the opposite uh, extremes as needed to get the uh, voltage the same at the inverting input. So we covered all that before. And uh, so we're going to uh, quickly just uh, review it in this video. And so hope you enjoyed.